All right, welcome to the Robert Show. We are here in Mountain View, and look who I have with me, Ed Wang, who is like the CEO and co-founder of Pink App. I'm super excited to be here. Such a great place to have an office in. I'm I'm really happy to be here, and thanks for hosting me. Thank you, and I also really glad to be here. Yeah. Yes. And I'm excited to host you today because we're going to talk a lot about you know various things that you guys are doing in this community. But just for our audience, would you like to quickly introduce yourself? Tell us more about what you're working on, and then we can get into the depth of okay, many more cool. things. Uh, my name is Ed. I'm the co-founder and the CTO of PinCap. PinCap is the company behind the very popular distributed SQL database right. called TiDB. Right. And uh, we started this company like. 10 years ago and uh, from scratch. Yeah. And now, you know, TiDB is a distributed database, database speaks MySQL via protocol, but we build it from scratch. Right. And it provides, you know, the full feature, the SQL capability, plus with really good scalability. So now it is widely used in a lot of big enterprise like Airbnb, Pinterest, Flickcart, and yeah, a lot of them. So it's quite popular. Yeah. We, we both offer the open source version and the cloud offering yes. on all the main, mainstream public cloud. Yeah. yeah. No, I think that is something, you know, obviously I've heard from not only just the developers, but the enterprise leaders out there as well. And the great thing that TiDB does. And that is one thing, you know, I was kind of curious that, okay, fine, I need to definitely do it, do an interview with Ed and make sure or what are you currently working on and how did it all start, right? Uh, another decision you made at the very beginning, right, was about the open source project. Why did you do it and how did it play out? I, I can, obviously, I know the logos you all have, like Pink App has, but in general as well, the community is so huge. The open source community is like massive that you all have. There's so many great contributors who are using TiDB. So kind of curious to know about that. Why open source, right? Right. Uh, you know, part of the reason is I, I will... Answered it in two, you know. Yeah. First is my personal reason, you know, a little bit some personal story. Yeah, sure. I, I started programming since I was like nine or ten. Wow. Now. Yeah, it's like self-taught software <laughs> engineer. <laughs> wow, that's so, very cool. But you know, like me, the nineteens, the the only channel I can I can learn the the programming or computer science is open source. Right. So I, I learned a lot from the you know open source code. I spent a lot of time in Linux community. Nice. And I also made a lot of friends. And by the way, you know. In the early days of PinCap, most of the em employees, my friends in the open source community. So you can consider the open source is in in my DNA, right. uh, as well as well, CEO. Yeah. And so this some we believe in that. On the on the on the other hand, from the business po point of view, right. if you want to be the very successful database company, you you definitely have need to have some you know enterprise customer, right? Especially, you know, TiDB is an OLTP database at the first place. So it serves the mission critical workload, online transaction, right. something like that. So that means the trust is very, very important. The 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 trust of the from the, the enterprise customer. Yes. 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 So open source, I would say it is, you know, one of the most important foundations of this cool. trust. Yeah. So I think that that's why we definitely should open source that because imagine that if we are the, for example, on the other hand, I, I'm the software engineer. I, right. I, I believe that there is no perfect software. So no matter, you know, you, you are the open source or it is a closed source. Yeah. There must be some bugs in, in your software. Yeah, for sure. So that means more adoption, more users, and to use your software can give you more feedbacks right. and make the software better. Yeah. And that also means the faster iteration speed of your right. software. Exactly. So if you are the closed sourced software or closed source database, that means that will block the adoption of your of your user. Right. So yeah, that, that that's why we open source. I love it. I love the story because it obviously goes back to your childhood and how you kind of obviously started uh, like nine years when you were and you kind of started coding and it kind of gave you like a lot of, you made a lot of friends, you yeah. obviously upskilled yourself because of open source. So yeah. obviously you kind of gave it back to the community exactly. and you, you made yeah. sure that it will go on and 
you know, there'll be many more, you know, aides who will be learning, <laughs> right? Yeah. So, which is fantastic. Yeah, no, great yeah, story yeah. and thanks for sharing that. I'm kind of also curious to know a little about, fast forward to now, there's an ongoing trend in the industry of database providers that, you know, started as an open source player and we do, you know, open source eventually. But what's, what's your stance on this today? Because mm. I kind of feel that, oh, you stop learning. If you kind of, because that's what the community always expects, that it should be open source. But yeah. what are your thoughts? First, I I, I, I want to make the commitment that PinCap and TidyB will be open source project. It's on record. I yeah, love yeah, it. Yeah, yes. On record, yes. yes. On the other hand, I, I, I feel, you know, other vendors, some, some other vendors, they started with a very successful database, but after that, they changed, you know, license. Mm. And I... I would say that maybe because they cannot resolve the conflict of the you know open source and the revenue, right. so they you know they they want to like trying to make more revenue from the open source adoption. In my mind, I believe that there is no conflict on the open source adoption in and the revenue because I think you know for example in PinCap today more than. 60% of the revenue comes from our managed cloud service. Mm. So we can still have a very active, very good open source community. And that helps us to build really solid foundation of right. our right. cloud service. Because, you know, nowadays, I would say building a database is very hard. But let's, let's think like a user. From the user's perspective, using a database is also hard. Right. 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 Because... Choosing a database is not only the technology, but also the, the whole, you know, the, the, the user journey on mm. using a database. Like, you need to care about how to migrate, how to import the data, export, backup, restore, high availability, exactly. a lot exactly. of things. So you can try to build a great service or great, you know, profitable platform for the whole user journey, not only the source code of your database. Right. So that, that, that's why I, I think they are, they are not conflict if we can have, you know, the healthy business model like fully managed cloud service for the database company. Yeah. No, I think those are very interesting points and very insightful because I kind of feel that that balance is something what sometimes companies kind of like the open source database providers kind of feel insecure about like, oh, we're giving too much away for free. But then maybe that's what has actually got you the customers as well is something that is to keep in mind. But then also, how do you want to make it easier for the larger community is yeah. what matters. So I'm very happy that you mentioned that you know, PinCap, TileDB will be yeah. an open source yeah. community. Because we believe that scalable business model, it, it is not by, you know, getting money from the open source adoption. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I love it. I love it. I'm kind of also wanting to learn a little about the customers. So what are you, what are you hearing from your key customers? What problems does TileDB help uh, them address? They struggled with before and now you've kind of helped them to overcome those types of hurdles. Yeah. It is a good question. And I, I just like I mentioned, we have a lot of, you know, big names. Right. And right. I, I think one of the common traits of this big customer asking for TIDB, they really value the scalability. You know, when your your data set or the, the, the traffic is small, you can use any database you like. But when things are getting like hundreds hundreds of terabytes or even petabytes of data. Yeah, it is not that easy. So, you know, from the user's perspective, they, right. they, they want to keep the interface, the programming interface, as simple as possible. Just, just like I said, if, you know, TidyB still provide a very clean or, or simple yep. SQL interface, but we basically handle all the complicated, distributed right. the, the things under the hood. So that, nice. that is very, very, ease of use is very important. Uh, the second thing is that I think, you know, the Thailand could handle, you know, the, the, the this kind of complexity right. in distributed world. You know, there are not too many Thailands like this. Mm -hmm. So instead of, you know, building your own solution right. or uh, hiring, this, hiring such Thailands is also very hard for them. So right. to, for this customer, the, Choosing, you know, the, the, the service or a product from PinCap is 
quite reasonable. So yeah. yeah, I think yeah. What I can hear is like obviously scalability kind of plays a very important role in yeah. the ease of use database expertise kind of also yes. comes into the game. So that's awesome. I'm also kind of curious to learn a little about the partnerships. I heard you you know announced a set of new partnerships with key JNAI oh, ecosystem yeah. players. I want to learn what is StyleDB's JNAI story because. Whenever, and I can't go without this question, right? It's like yeah. everywhere we go, so many conferences I attend, there's so many companies talking about Gen AI. Yeah. But I'm curious to learn your story. Yeah, I think I believe that in the in the future, you know, Gen AI story, it is also a database story. Mm. Because data will play the very, very important role in the, in the AI or Gen AI applications. But, you know, today, most of the Gen AI vendor or Gen AI applications still in the prototyping Race. Right. Most of the the startups or in in gen AI application world, they are trying to build their prototype. So that means the go to market speed is very important. Right. So our story is quite simple. In this stage, we provide a one stop solution, so they don't need to worry about you know fragile data infrastructure. They don't need to worry about picking different kind of database and to build their application. So. Right. One database, you can serve like vector data, you can serve the document data, you can serve the graph kind of data, or nice. in IDB. Nice. And uh, all of these good features are in a serverless you know, product. So mm. you don't need to worry about the infrastructure. So that today, we, we offer the, all of this, this good thing, one stop solution in our serverless offering. Nice, and nice. Let's fast forward to the, to the future. The, in the next stage, I believe that if there is some, you know, killer application in a Gen AI world, the next big question or big issue is the scalability. Yeah. That is what we are actually good at. Love scalability, it. stability, enterprise ready. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we are ready for that. That's awesome. Uh, you're on a roll, Ed. Uh, obviously, not only just working on a company, but then you also make sure where there are side projects, you kind of make sure yeah. you're getting upskilling yourself and that helps community as well. So that's awesome, Ed. One last question for our audience is, if they want to reach out to you, learn more about your projects, I'm going to share your GitHub page with them for sure. And so they no can problem. look at all the contributions and things that you work on. Where can they do this? Is LinkedIn a best place to connect? Yeah, or LinkedIn somebody? and also my my ex, yeah. Twitter. Yeah, yeah. And we also have a very good, uh, you know, Slack channel. Nice, nice. You can hang out there. Yeah, that's awesome. It is, while I know keeping time in mind, I know we'll keep the conversation going for sure. But such a pleasure hosting you today and, and you know, really happy with all the great work that you all have done Thank you. In, for the community. So thanks for doing it and thanks for visiting the Robert Show. Such a pleasure hosting you today. Thank you. Thank you Thank everyone you. Yeah. for joining us today.